Hey guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. Um, this week's video is a request video. Um, I'm here to help somebody out, so hopefully I'm helpful in some way, small or large, I don't know, but hey, here we are. Alright, it's going to be a text tutorial, so just so you're aware of what it's going to be. Um, it's kind of like a, um, I don't know what you want to call this video, because it's really kind of just like an overlay, um, gradient text tutorial-ish. Yeah, anyways, here we go. So I'm using this font here called Mini. I found this on dafont.com, but I'll provide the link in the description below. And I have another font as well that works really well with this as well. Um, it's called, where is it? Do, 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 do. It is called, where is it? I just had it. Oh yeah, Baby Cruffy. That also is found on dafont.com. Um, but, uh, the main text we're going to be using is mini because that is basically what the text wants, needs to look like. So here we go. Um, and I'm using a pale pink color, um, salmon color, I guess you'd say. Um, this is the color you need for your text. Um, so click OK. And we're going to go ahead and double click our text layer. And, um, I already have this in my styles, but you're not going to. So I'm going to show you what I did. So, let me move this over here and we'll get rid of the preview. Um, so, I added a stroke to start things off. Um, it's a 1px stroke and I used black for the color because I felt like that was really kind of a subtle, kind of a background dark color. So, I, that's why I did that. Um, and the gradient overlay. I used another salmon-like color, but I used this one a bit like darker because I wanted to showcase the text more and not so much the actual color color. So we use this here, and I clicked on the feather up here, and I added that as my two colors here and there, and click OK. And um, the blend mode, I set it at normal. Um, it may Yours may be set at multiply when you open it, but I just left it at normal, and everything else just stayed the same. Um, you could maybe change the style to a um, reflected style. I happen to like linear for my style, but if you want to go ahead and use a um, reflective style, that would look really cool as well. So go for that if you want that for your, your cool effect, but um, yeah. Alright, and then next we added a bevel and emboss. And the only thing I really changed in this um, setting here were the two colors of highlight and shadow mode because basically that's all I needed. Oh my god, why is my phone being stupid? Anyway, um, so... Um, this color here is for your highlight mode, okay? And then for your shadow mode, I chose this lovely color here, and that I left there. And then I added a drop shadow, and I chose black, obviously, for the color because that's how you want your shadow. Although I did change the distance to 3px because I felt like I didn't want the shadow to be too distant and too away from the text. I wanted it to be subtle. So I left that, and the opacity is at 87%, um, but you're free to change that as well. Um, and the angle, um, obviously I'm leaving it there because it looked really well, it works really well. So when I clicked OK, I got that similar effect. Um, it's very simple, um, hopefully that was helpful. Um, that's kind of, I think, the effect you were going for-ish. Whoa, that's 200. So, yeah, I don't know if that was what you are looking for. But that's kind of where I kind of saw the text in your uh, message. So there we go. Um, so to whom you, to whom this video concerned, hopefully it was helpful to you. And hopefully other people found it helpful to them as well. But I know for some of you it may not be as helpful because you're too advanced for this tutorial. But there are other people out there in the world that need beginner tutorials. So I'm here for you as well. So if you're a beginner, this is for you. This was for you and yay. So, um, I will post another video next week. Um, I'm trying to post videos every Saturday. I feel like Saturday is a good, solid day to post a video. So, you probably noticed by now that I'm posting videos every Saturday. So, editing day is Friday, and then posting day is Saturday. And I try and post a few videos um, on, on Fridays on my vlog channel, Jazz Vlogs. So, look over there for some cool footage of random stuff. And, yeah. Alright, so that's the video, and um, for more awesomeness, click the subscribe button, 
And if you want to see even more awesomeness and behind-the-scenes awesomeness, click on my vlog channel at the end of the video on that little photo frame. So, thanks for watching!